We're taking things that are, you know, genetically modified organisms and we're injecting them in little kids' arms. We just shoot them right into the vein. We're taking things that are, you know, genetically modified organisms and we're injecting them in little kids' arms. We just shoot them right into the vein. Yeah, that doesn't sound bad at all. Makes me want to stand right in line and roll up my sleeve. We just shoot them right into the vein. Well, I just realized that today is Exposed Bill Gates Day. As a matter of fact, Exposed Bill Gates was trending all day on Twitter. Because of YouTube censorship, I'm basically prohibited from giving my opinion on this, but that doesn't prevent me from reporting on what other people might be saying about old Gil Bates. Michelle Malkin says that she's not going to take Gates' vaccine. She says, quote, I will not bow down to jackbooted globalists. I will question the corrupted public health industrial complex and its financial conflicts of interest. She also says that she'll use her platforms to share silenced views of whistleblowers and dissidents. Hashtag fight the censors. Silicon Valley has paired up with the likes of the Bill Gates and the big pharma companies and the control freaks to push vaccine skeptics off of the internet and off of the public square. They can't do it anymore. And there's a parallel here with the America First movement because the more they try to squash these voices, the more they proliferate. The more that you tell normal members of the public, you can't watch that, you can't see that, you can't say that, what happens? There's a backlash. And that backlash has been phenomenal. I don't think anybody who has worked in this arena of raising doubts and questions about the conflicts of in interest financially, the ideological agenda, the threat to parental sovereignty, the junk science that's been used, the cover-ups, the conspiracies. Yes, sometimes conspiracies are true. They're not conspiracy tr theories. They're conspiracy truths. They're conspiracy facts. But I don't think anybody who has worked in this area um, and has become an, an advocate, could, advocate could have ever predicted how huge the backlash has been. And there was a poll this week, I can't remember how many people it was, what the number was, um, but it showed that increasing numbers of people have stood up and said, I will not take the Gates vaccine. In other news, Mrs. Doubtfire, uh, sorry, Melinda Gates, responded to a question from a Time Magazine journalist who asked who needs a potential CV-19 vaccine after healthcare workers. She replied, quote, in the U.S., that would be black people next, quite honestly, and many other people of color. They're having disproportionate effects from CV-19. From there, people with underlying health conditions and then people who are older. Those are the ones who all need it first. Now, just in case you didn't know, there's a name for test subjects who are the first to get unproven medication. And I'll leave it up to you to come up with that word because YouTube censorship police won't allow me to do it here on my channel. Not without taking me down. It's already been reported many times on fake stream media that Big Pharma and Gates want to test their fast-tracked, subsidized chemical concoction on a certain demographic of people. And this just confirms that. Now, let me ask you a question. Do you support Gil Bates and his global agenda to get over 7 billion doses of his DNA-altering biometric database material into the veins of every man, woman, and child on the planet? Do you support the Gates-founded and funded Global Vaccine Alliance, the organization that's working closely with ID2020? Global Vaccine Alliance, by the way, is called Gavi. How about the people who support Gates and Gavi? Do you support them? Yes? No? If you don't support Bill Gates' organization called Gavi, and you don't support those who support Gavi, before I play this clip, I just want to ask you one more time. Are you sure you don't? Check out exactly who supports Gates and the Global Vaccine Initiative. Gavi operates with great transparency, and Boris Johnson is somebody with tremendous respect for you and everything you do. He called, he said, do you think you could do something maybe around the Oval Office or right by the Oval Office? I said, why not? It happens to be right behind me. As the coronavirus has shown, there are no borders. It doesn't discriminate. 
It's mean, it's nasty, but we're going to all take care of it together. It's great to be partnering with you. We will work hard. We will work strong. Send my regards to Boris and good luck. Let's get the answer. If you support Trump, you are, by extension, supporting someone who supports Gates and Gavi and the push to get the global vaccine into every single human being on Earth. So my question is, will you stay in your left versus right cognitive dissonance as you support the destruction of humanity through Trump or any left or right political puppet? Or will you finally take a whiff of the smelling salts of reality and join the struggle for liberty? Leave your thoughts about this. And if you still support Trump knowing that he supports Gates and Gavi, I'd like to hear your rationale for that position. If you get something out of these videos, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell notification icon, give them a thumbs up, share them with everybody you know, and don't forget to subscribe to my private email list through my website, highimpactflix.com. Remember, I'm live streaming exclusively on DLive, so please follow me over there. The link is in the description, along with the link to my BitChute channel. And if you want to support the channel, the Patreon, PayPal, Bitcoin, and Subscribestar links are in the description below. And you can also get a hard-hitting shirt from the shirt store that I'm really not allowed to show you here on YouTube anymore, lest they take my channel down. And if you visit the shirt store, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. I'll see you guys in the next heavily censored, shadow banned, and now 100% demonetized video.